Dude, it's the freak ND. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. Uh huh. Um, so the uh, the Celtics just won. <laughs> so that's your bed Stole too. Your when body. we're talking about, so turn it down because that's just the bed. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so now we can talk about sports. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Stole go your for bike, it. man. Well, today the Celtics and the Sixers played. They, uh, the Celtics, you know, took care of business. They were the higher seed. Yeah. Um, which is crazy because the Celtics actually have two guys that are high level All Stars, and they're not even playing. They're hurt. So the Celtics are really riding with a bunch of fucking young kids and fucking nobodies, mm-hmm. and uh, they're about to go take on LeBron right now. So. Uh, their season was pretty good, and then Philadelphia, uh, they are just they were a shit show for five years, um, so it's pretty good to see them, and then I bet you P- Philly's uh, riding pretty high, they just won the Super Bowl too, everything seems to be going uh, Philly, too much cheesesteak if you know what I mean. I don't. <laughs> good, 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 I ho- I'm glad you don't. Yeah, uh, I guess we just gotta wait around to fucking watch LeBron now, man. So who's in? So so now that they won, they're they're gonna be playing the Cavaliers. Yeah, and then and then what? What's the other couple teams that are gonna be playing? It's gonna each be other? the Rockets and mm-hmm. the Warriors. And then okay. you know, there's a bunch of Warriors fans out there that are fucking. Well, going. I think they're our de facto California team right now. They they're the ones that we. That we just kind of root for. They're kind of like California. The, they're kind of like it's funny because in lieu of Lakers. When the Lakers are badass, even when Kobe was still around, uh, Golden State, there were a bunch of fuck. You know, those guys were only like 19, 20 years old, barely coming in. So yeah, it's LeBron. A tri- too. It's a trip to see. So that's why people like them a lot too from Cali because mm-hmm. it's like yeah, they're Cali. They're like a Cali uh, group of team. guys. Yeah, so it should be a good finals this year. It's probably going to be Warriors and Cavs, man. Four times in a so? row. Yeah, four times in a row, man. It's like, you know what's crazy though? Have you heard about the Vegas the Vegas team, Mm-mm. the Golden Knights? Uh, they're in the they're in the conference finals, man. Okay, this is their first season. Tell like, me all about a, it. They're in an expansion team. I'll tell you all about it because <laughs> I just did. <laughs> oh, that's all I know about it. Bum, ba, dum, bum. Dun. And then uh, that's pretty much right now because the Dodgers suck ass, but we don't have to talk about them. Sure. <laughs> Um, it was about shit. That's right. <laughs> you got that right. It was all you shit. know what? I don't. I want to say it's like about five. It was about five minutes. Okay. So. And that was the foo with sports. <laughs> and now David with content stealing. Uh, okay. So uh, basically, I uh, wanted to kind of get into the whole idea of content stealing, which is uh, one second. I'm gonna. I'm gonna. I need to take a time code. One. Any, anyways, uh, basically, there are some. Have you ever come across a video, like a compilation video on Instagram? Like, uh, and they have like maybe like uh, most crazy redneck videos or like the most insane pranks you'll see. And it's like a compilation of a bunch of stuff. Right. Uh, those um, general sites are basically what they do is they compile content from other people that belong to others uh don't tag anybody who actually made any of this content for for themselves and then they basically upload it to instagram they uh uh, generate more uh generate is that they generate well i guess they 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 generate a fan base i guess i could say that they generate a fan base uh based it it. off of uh stolen content they start they show like a series of well people do like it like they'll for example like when somebody plays a video game too and then they it's you're pretty much watching somebody play a video game not like that because a video game the thing is uh video games kind of fall into whatever you're doing on the controller in free yeah it it can be changed it's not always the same Mm. as well but it's it's also allowed for free uh use as far as not free i'm so sorry is it like a compilation video of like the stupid funny moments like in a movie and it just like kind of so it'll be different things it'll be like sports highlight moments most amazing crazy uh stunts or it'll be like shocking videos you have to see of like redneck videos i don't know or sometimes it'll be like uh ultimate viners compilation that's a big one because viners specifically create content to be like funny create these little uh you know a fan base for themselves that people go to their vines and watch it you know yeah. so and then they eventually migrate it to youtube because vines mm-hmm. are no longer a thing so they take their content compile some of their stuff and some of the best people stuff put it together in a video not crediting the original creator the certain content sometimes and then putting it out there and they will get 
millions of views on these things and uh, they generate content and money that way uh, and none of the stuff they create themselves and all of these sites are kind of like off sites that just kind of make money in that way so kind of same thing in YouTube uh, where you will have people either finding ways to just upload another YouTuber's comedy sketch mm-hmm. to theirs for example there's okay. A, a, a okay I'll give you guys an example something everybody can look up there's an, a YouTuber called SoFlow and what he does is he basically will say something like, oh, this is totally how I feel. And then the, the following video will be an actual clip from someone else. And it belongs to them. And they make money off of their video simply because they put their little clip at the beginning, mm-hmm. not really being a review or a, a sort of critique of the content. It's more of a just taking the content, pasting it, and then just putting a little snippet at the end to uh-huh. make it unique. And it's theirs. Okay. So content stealing. I want to hear what you guys think about it. Well, I mean, I, I think you just described. <laughs> I think you just described exactly what it is. What I think about it, I mean, it's an interesting way to uh, monetize something if these people are really getting that many con- um, people listening in or watching the videos um, and, and generating enough where they can tell YouTube, "Look at how many people are looking at my channel. Pay me." Like what I've seen before is like you know, I'll use a specific example. You know, Westworld. You know what you know what that is? HBO show mm-hmm. like. I know there's three or four, maybe even way more than that, different channels of YouTubers or like, you know, channel. What the hell was that? That was Yeah, I'm sorry. I'm testing out a few other drops. This is the first episode, everybody. I'm, 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 I'm fucking around over here. So uh, um, don't mind me. So they were, you know, there's probably several different channels owned by different, you know, people, you know, whatever they call themselves. And they're basically giving their take on it. And they're kind of playing the episode, but they're like showing them like... You know, they're commenting, they're fucking saying this. Oh, I think this is going to happen. You know, all that stuff, right? So I'd like to take this because, second. Because those guys, I know a couple of those guys, they, you know, they run ads. Yes. So yeah. the, the, the the very important difference between that uh, and and what I'm talking about, that what I'm what you're talking about is basically a, a critique or a commenting on a movie, which is completely actually allowed. And it's actually not something that kind of falls under the same category that I'm talking about. What I'm talking about is imagine that same Westworld episode. Imagine that same ex- entire episode played in its entirety. And at the beginning of a clip, someone's like, oh, man, there's a show that I was thinking about. And and it fades to like some sort of like spacey, like memory effect. And then the entire episode of Westworld just plays like that's it. That's all that happens. Like it's like he just has this intro and then the entire episode of Westworld plays. And because the entire episode of Westworld is playing, you're, people are now watching it on his channel and he's making money off of Westworld being on there. Forever. It's the same thing on a smaller scale. Dang. But where you're talking about is critiquing where they'll, they will take cuts of it right it's right. not the entire episode it's just cuts and they'll talk about certain parts of it i've actually seen ones where they take the full episode exactly if they take the full episode and they put it on there and then having people come and watch the full episode of westworld that's content stealing basically mm. so continue with your point yeah yeah because i've seen i mean i've seen a couple of those videos before where they're they're playing out basically the entire episode out like but they're uh, commenting on it yeah well yeah. like i'll give you a specific example you know this uh anime called attack on titan you know, several of them. Sick. You know, yeah, all the review videos with all their theories and shit after that. So they get people to kind of watch the show with them. I don't know if you've seen a couple before, but I've seen one that, like, they have the actual thing on the screen, too. But it's, like, slanted off, not the full picture. So they can, like, you know, they're basically broadcasting that content. Mm-hmm. Um, Agreed. <clears throat> uh, <laughs> you look at me for... Um, speak. It's uh yeah dude uh, totally it's uh, uh let me ask I you mean, something uh, yeah yeah go for it dude I got nothing <laughs> <laughs> if you could air a movie mm-hmm. do you think you'd get in deep shit because it's a movie Womp. no I'm just saying because like it's one thing to like you know show something or a clip but like holy shit what if you like straight up just is that how like people do it? Like they'll do it right before a movie and they'll show the whole fucking movie or what? Basically, yeah, they'll like um, they'll take anything. Like they'll take uh, an entire. They'll take as, uh, someone the entire point of someone's content, like the entire like funny part of it, like that generates their views. You know that they let's say they post on Instagram because you can still generate money on Instagram if you get enough views, you can get you know in in some revenue through that. So what yeah, because the- you're getting so many, you're getting so many people looking at you exactly. that you know people you, throw mm-hmm. content. In. Anytime you have enough eyes looking in any direction, you can you have, there's a chance to make money. Now what they're doing is they're taking certain people who do this specifically to make money, 
uh, they people who do this to make money. And uh, they'll take that clip of theirs that they use to make money and put it in their videos. And then they'll assemble their audience to watch these very clever, funny videos that don't belong to them. And then they'll make money off of that. Mm. And giving no credit to the original owner of the videos. And uh, for anybody out there who wants to watch an interesting video, actually, search uh, Drew Gooden. Uh, maybe put in content stealing in YouTube. And you'll get a really actually interesting video uh, kind of highlighting, highlighting a lot of the points that I'm talking about. He actually comes out with a lot of really kind of interesting observations as far as uh, behavior on YouTube and behavior of people in general and how they portray themselves and put things out there on the Internet. Sometimes even pointing to times where he's been himself uh, the victim of the same thing, you know, mm, basically mm-hmm. people taking his videos and uh, using some of his vines. This would be a good time to know a lot of dad jokes. I know, oh, man. This would be those dad jokes are hilarious on um, I know. on that one dad yeah. joke channel. Uh, I think it's called Dad Jokes now. Here we go. All right, so jumping back into it. Oh, unless you guys want to get into the subject of dad jokes, no. I mean that's totally fine. No, Do you guys know any is... dad jokes? Because I have none. <laughs> Wait, I have maybe. I have a couple of shitty dad jokes. Okay, let's let me just play it. one for you. All right, let's do it. Uh, why? Why <laughs> was that a zipper? Yes, it was. <laughs> you asked me to act normal, and I was looking for that sound effect. Oh, okay. <laughs> um, wh- why could why couldn't the uh, hippie uh, lifeguard save the drowning man? The hippie lifeguard. Yeah, why couldn't he save the drowning man? I don't know. Cause he was too far out, man. Oh my god, <laughs> oh, that was awful. <laughs> Jesus, that was so bad. You know, some of them are so bad they're good. No, yeah. it's fucking terrible. Yeah, it's like it, it just has that crazy effect on you. It, oh, Jesus, it has that crazy effect. You just cause can't help it. What do you call you're a fi- hu- you're fine? Okay. What so do you call a huge fine. pile of yes. cats? Huh? What do you call a huge pile of cats? What do you, What do you call a man? A mountain. <laughs> 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 okay, I got one. Stupid. I'm huh? reading a book about anti gravity. It's impossible to put down. Uh that's sciencey. Is that too sciencey? Was that not punny? Where was the crickets? I need a crickets one. Yeah. Yes. All right. Let me find one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we should just have a death uh, dad joke compilation, or just like go through a bunch of dad jokes, and every single one has a crickets. Every single dad joke has a crickets every single time. Every single like fucking we, time. Like we, no, we should each fire one off, and then the worst one gets the crick. Yeah. <laughs> Did you know the- You like that one? That was no, Yeah, that, a, that was good. That's perfect. Ambient, okay, let's Shit, let's that's test that's it. I got a, I got a joke here. Guys, I'm pretty impressed with that one. Did you know? Did you guys know that the first French fries weren't actually cooked in France? They were cooked in Greece. Oh. Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> no. I was not expecting that. That one was actually kind of good. I was not expecting no that. No crickets. No crickets for you. Damn yeah. <laughs> You, you only get it. points if it sucks that much where it needs uh, crickets. Where it does need crickets, yeah. yeah. <laughs> All right. You guys want to hear a joke about a piece of paper? Yes. Never mind. It's terrible. <laughs> Damn it. It's not supposed to be funny. See, that was good, but it wasn't as good. It's because it's unexpected, I think. I, I think, think the, I think that's the French the fries one was great. It, yeah. Th- there's a charm to that one. Like... <laughs> okay. All right. All right. There's a cricket sound, everybody. I'm determined to get the crickets. I got one. I got one. If you see a robbery at an Apple store, does that make you an eyewitness? Sorry, I wasn't ready. (laughs) (laughs) That totally deserved it. I wasn't ready. Hey. I'm putting him in a special folder. See, you got to bear with me here. I'm only one man. What's Forrest Gump's email password? What? One Forrest one. One forced one. <laughs> Isn't part of the show like they try to make the other guy laugh? I'm trying to not make you laugh. <laughs> and it just seems to kind of make you chuckle. Stupid like, no, cricket. Cricket's on a time delay. I'm not. I'm trying. I'm, I'm on a website here. Ooh, so take I'm... that pen away from that cricket. He's going to overdose on the tweed. Right. So uh, my dad used to call uh, when you go for a pit. Me and my dad used to go pick up together, which is oddly cool enough. Yeah. Yeah, we would go to Eagle Rock. And, uh, you know, he would. we couldn't just openly talk about it in front of people. So he'd just be like, you want to go on a bonsai run? And I, the first time he said it, I was like, what the fuck did you say? Like, you want to go to, like, some Chinese store where they sell little bonsai trees, like, in the back? 
the guy's like eight thousand dollars and he was just like 